I'm not saying that what the prisoners are taking, they are not supposed to take that. That's not what I said. But I'm saying that they shouldn't be taking more than youth coppers. That's what I said. Because the, the, the feeding money for youth coppers is 600 naira a day. But the feeding for the prisoners is 1,000 naira. You and I agree that such thing, that if anybody you tell him will not tell you that you're doing the right thing. So I'm only appealing that both the executives, the legislators, they should do something about Nigerian uh, youth coppers by increasing their um, feeding allowances, increasing their, the money for their uniform, because even though it is now made Nigerian uniform, but it has to be made and made well. Yes. Your colleagues have talked about several issues here, including the issue of special funding for sports, which Mr. Bade may have updated. Yeah. Uh, Stella Odua talked about competitions and um, other issues they raised. Where do you stand on this, considering the budget you've presented? You, you will agree with me that it's based on what I said that made them to make the comment they made. Because I said that the budget of uh, Nigerian Ministry of uh, Youth and Sports is far, far inadequate. And um, something needs to be done about it. Because if you look at the, 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 their project for 2022, it's only five billion. So which cannot take the ministry anywhere. Both youth and uh, sports development, it can't take them anywhere. Is that, why there, is that why there is crisis? We know that there is crisis in sports at the moment. And one of them, which is bothering so many sports fans, including myself, is about Gennady Raw, the Super Eagles coach. Um, um, what do you have to tell I'm, us about I'm, this? So is please, the crisis please, necessary at this moment? Please, you know, they, they, they call this a professor, gentleman of the press. Yes. The way you are sounding is not gentle. Okay, sorry. Let's say okay, sorry, probably because, because I'm passionate yes, about sports. Yes. Okay. And, uh, and again, and, and and again, 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 please, we, there's no crisis in sports. There's no crisis in sports. Because you started that, whether that is why there's crisis. There's no crisis. You know, in every nation, in every country, in every aspect, people will like something, others will not like it. But you have to look for the best. The, yes, the coach, so many people say, has called for his sack. You understand? He need to be discussed because he had an agreement. He had an agreement with the, 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 the sports uh, operators in football. There's a way you will sack him if you don't pay a certain amount of money, uh, FIFA will ban Nigeria. And when they ban, you will also complain. So why not allow the football operators to do the needful by discussing, finding the way out? You know, the Nations Cup, mind you, the man, part of the agreement is for him to qualify for Nations Cup. He has done that. And he has done that. So how do you feel? No matter he, how he qualified, you understand? Now the next thing is World Cup, and it's still on. You understand? So uh, for me, I'm not, uh, I'm not um, uh, Amadou Pinik, who is the president of uh, NFL. But uh, I'm also a board member. So I can tell you authoritatively that something is being done. In the, among us, many of us have called, yes, this man needs to step aside. You understand? But it, it's not something you just, you know, said for saying sake. It has to be a discussion, there will be a meeting, there will be... So many things has to be taken into consideration before, even if, if you weren't sacking him, then we sack. If you weren't not sacking him, then so be it. But please, a sad patient.